Okay. And y'all did get a chance to uh, get the uh, email with the Dropbox information. So the time is now 2 0 oh, 2 0. 2 p.m. I need lunch. Uh, we're, and I call the uh, first community development committee meeting to order. Uh, if you all don't mind, I'd like to open us up with a, uh, with a prayer and then we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Father God, we just come before you today just thanking you for this time that we have together. Um, thanking you that uh, you have endowed us and given us the wisdom uh, to make the best decisions to help support uh, our constituents and improve the quality of life for each and every person that we serve. Uh, so we just thank you for being here with us and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, so we don't have any uh, minutes to approve uh, because we are having our first Community Development Committee meeting. Uh, so we'll just go straight into the new business. Uh, Mr. Lowe, I'll go ahead and call you up. We have item one. A request for favorable recommendation regarding the vacation of 100,670 square feet of right of way and a request for approval of a final plat uh, combining the vacated right of way and 49 lots into one lot called Birmingham Amphitheater Resurvey. The floor is yours, sir. Okay, you can come on up. So, Roderick Lowe, city employee? Mm hmm Okay. Yes. My name is Roderick Lowe, and I serve as a sub-employee for the city of Birmingham. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to have a seat? We can, we can hear you better if you're at the table. Just had some. We just had some. I'm Mark Hart with Show Engineering, and... Okay. And y'all can just open up and just kind of tell us uh, what we're doing. What we're... Let me do it, Rod. Okay. Floor is open. Thank you. Uh, what we're doing here is we're just resurveying a bunch of the uh, existing lots from the, the previous subdivisions into one lot and vacating a couple of streets and alleys for the uh, for the. Uh, BJCC Amphitheater Project. Okay. And, uh, I mean, do y'all see the area? Uh, you kind of see the lots, the 49 lots. I don't think they show, do they? It was actually lot 49, which was one of my questions. I didn't see, see. lot 49. So it's a residential area that uh, so, over you know time business. So I'm just thinking I might abstain from this. Scale that drone. Yeah. 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 So right now, the only street you can drive on is Walnut Hill Circle, right? You can drive in the alley. Oh, 23rd. 23rd and there are some alleys in here that are, I mean, they're marked on the survey, but they're not. If you walked out there, you, you couldn't see the alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just these two sections. And you said currently the BJCC already owns? Everything within this dark black line part of the purchase by the BJCC from Northside Redevelopment. Gotcha. But I don't okay. work for the BJCC. I'm trying to 
trying to decide if I can vote. <laughs> well, we, we can carry. I'm sure we'll remember how delighted I am about this project. Right, right. <laughs> I was about to say, where's the parking in, in there? <laughs> Where are the trees? There's, there's three decks on here. Here, 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 here. Okay. There are some walnut trees up there on Walnut Hill Circle. One one question I do want to have, uh, or that I do have, is I guess once uh, the development of all of this takes place, um, will there be any type of communication to the surrounding residents about the times that things will happen? Oh, absolutely. Uh, um, and we host the Druid Hills neighborhood meetings at the stadium now. And we even, was it last Monday? Wasn't, it had to be last Monday, it wasn't this Monday. So, I mean, this site plan and everything going on here is, an agenda item on every Druid Hills neighborhood agenda. Um, and we will communicate with them the events occurring here just like we do the stadium events and the large arena events. And I, I ask that because I know, you know, we've had some complaints from residents about, you know, the, the times of construction and the times that work is taking place yes. uh, during those moments when they're trying to sleep or, you know, like occurring yeah. early in the morning. So, and so, so just trying to avoid another Facebook post. Well, so, yeah. so, so during the period of there'll be no work going on in the evening or weekends. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what he's speaking of. One of the issues is um, for something on, on the US 31 side to avoid having debris blowing into the US 31 during rush hour, they would mm -hmm. start like at 4.30 in the morning. During, and so, during the demolition yeah, yeah. and so it was causing, it was disrupting someone's sleep. And so we had to really try to get on the contractor to start at a more reasonable hour. Yeah. Starting at 4 30, we can work out into the construction documents. The demolition of every all the structures that were on the site previously is already complete. Gotcha. Uh, so we did coordinate that. And, you know, the, large, the last building to be removed was this one, I think, right, right here. Mm -hmm. right here. Those houses. Yeah. It's a three-story old apartment building mm -hmm. that ideally we would have loved to have saved, but it could not be. Uh, and then, you know, Ms. Freeman lives right here. So we, I called her, and she actually called me when they got on site and were starting. She said, I'm good, you told me. Yeah. Cool. And I guess, would there be a contact person that we could reach, in, reach out to in the event that, you know, there are some issues that we need to, you know, kind of raise a concern? Make it as efficient as possible. Gotcha. Awesome. Awesome. Put Tad, Mr. Tad down. All right. Uh, do we have, or are there any other questions that you all have? All right. Is there a motion for an approval? I'm going to abstain. Okay. Just, I'm a little person. It was a but I said. Second. Please uh, note my abstention. And one abstention. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. <clears throat> all opposed. And like I said, one abstention. All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to the next item. Item number two. We have a request for favorable recommendation regarding the vacation of 2,833 uh, 2, square feet of alleyway and request for approval of a final plat combining a portion of the vacated right-of-way and four lots into one lot called a resurvey of lots four and five, block 746, City of Birmingham survey and alley vacation. Mr. Lowe. Again, my name is Robert Lowe and I serve as a subdivision plan for the City of Birmingham. And this is subdivision case 2023, case number 80. And we have representatives here to answer any questions that you may have. Okay. Uh, I guess you can state your name and, and what position you hold and just kind of tell us about what we're looking at here. Yeah, I'm Jonathan Shepard with TTL. Um, we're, we're working on the design of this project. And I've got, essentially we're requesting, uh, there's one property right now currently, um, one current property all owned by the same property under this outline here. Um, it's a vacant lot, we're just looking to consolidate it, these four lots into one lot, and then there's an existing alley on the back portion of our lot that we're looking to vacate as well, and it, it's also Vacant. There's no 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 accessibility back there or anything. 
so there's an existing alley to access our property. Where is this? Touching. I just can't get up. This is some 10th Avenue here. 10th um, Avenue, Avenue South. It's a little right here. So 10th Avenue South? Oh, I'm sorry. So right here. So it looks like it's over. Is this close over in your district? Well, uh, I see a little Councilor triangle Abbey. in there. Yeah, so yeah, it's across from Alabama South Art Town. or yeah, Alabama Supply. Art supply. Uh, that big open undeveloped lot right across from 280 at St. Vincent sits right here. So we're across 10th Avenue from that. There's a, okay, is this the part so where's the that net? have a retaining wall along one side of the street and there's only one house left? Yes, yes. One of those properties. Okay. What do y'all do? Yeah. Um, so it, it's a, in keep if you want to speak more, it's a, Multi-family And I'm sorry, could you state your um, name and Keith Thompson and I'm one of the owners. Got you. And you were saying multifamily? Uh it's a right, it's 30, 30 units. Thirty units. What's the address, the street address? So I put twenty three nineteen Tenth Avenue South. Okay. And so this is what it looks like along the street. So in terms of the vacation, does the traffic engineer, I know we don't have a traffic engineer anymore, but does someone look at if it affects general circulation? BDOT did um, at the subdivision level, they did recommend approval before we even bring it to the um, okay. public hearing. Right okay. now that it's currently unopened, at some time, it was vacated, but we don't have any documentation. So they want to properly okay. um, vacate it, because it's like a parking lot at the end down there. And this is across from that little convenience store that's been there about 100 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a there's a block, a block, a house that's built out of blocks up there on the hill? Yeah, sort of fake blocks. Okay. It, Fronts fell off of them on the retaining line along the sidewalks. Okay. Fake stone. Anyway. Oh. I see. Yeah, I know right where it is. I see where it is. This is where Jones Valley Urban Farm originally was. So, hmm. this is, there's the neck. Mm -hmm. Kind of across the street. So, the sundry shop, the sundry store is here. And the house connected to the sundry okay, store. So it's these properties over here that face 10. And here's Alabama Art Supply over here, and there's the Magnolia. I forget what they're Point. Called. Point. Mm -hmm. So Art Supply owns a couple of lots on the corner. Ken owns some of everything. There, there he is, Norman Webster. Would he not sell this, this property? Let's see. So you all are 10th Avenue properties. LLC. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So. Let's see. So the piece. So it looks like only a corner, a little notch is not vacated. I guess that's this piece. Well, the rest? this is what we're vacating right here. This thing now with the cloud around it. So, do you all own this as well? We do not. We're working, but you're going to vacate? We're, we're working with um, this property owner to vacate their portion of it as well. Based, based so, on the declaration of vacation. Okay, so so the a piece of the, the vacated right away goes to their parcel. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Do we have a motion? I have a follow up question. Yes, sir. It's okay. Hmm? Um, is there a reason we didn't take the vacation all the way down? Yeah, so this is a current alley, the usual. There's a road that comes around this apartment building. That's the only access mm -hmm. to this lot, I and mean, that's how we're actually going to access our lots is mm -hmm. on this existing roadway. So this portion of the alley is undeveloped. There's probably a 20-foot elevation difference between here and here, but this is a current existing road that still is used today. And then there's a building owner over here, right? Yes. And so they're a party, yeah, the they're consenting. Uh, it's an office building. Yeah, it's called Magnolia Properties. Magnolia. Yeah. Okay. In order to so, get this far, 
even to submit the application. They, they all had, had to consent. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess my last question is in terms of garbage pickup, do you not foresee any issue with needing to pick up in the back? So there's always uh, opportunity in the front for garbage and refuge collection. Yeah, I think we're planning on, so there's already a few dumpsters that are collected from some of these properties back here, so we're planning on using the same collecting from the, from the back. And it was so, the yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually a dumpster for this property that sits somewhere right right in there on their property that the dump, dumpster comes back and gets already. And they would serve well, no, I'm sorry. We're going to put one on our property on the back side oh, of our okay. property well, that they would access. So all that would be from, from the other house back there. And you said Magnolia Properties had to agree? Well, they had to sign the Declaration of Vacation. Okay. Stating that they um, are party to this vacation. Got you. If one party doesn't sign, we can't do it at all. Got it. So they, they are part of this research. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Do we have a motion well, to approve? Sure. Or? If there are no more questions, uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve item two. All right. Is there a second? Second. All right. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. This item passes. Thank you. Uh, item number three. We have a request for favorable recommendation regarding the vacation of 3,914 square feet of alleyway and request for approval of one. final plaque combining the vacated right of way and two, light, two lots into two lots called uh, a resurvey of lots 30A and 25A, Montgomery and Vaughn survey. Again, my name is Roger Blue and I serve as a subdivision planner for the city of Birmingham. This is subdivision case 2023, case number 81. And this um, right of way is considered unopened, so there's no paved alley here. This is just what we call a paper alley. So this is relate. Is this near the same property? I'm sorry, I didn't do this. Yeah, this so it's the same applicant for different. So again, I'm, I'm Dr. Shepard with TTL, and I'm working with a different owner. Okay. Um, okay. Same firm, but we're working with a different owner to vacate that alley. And that owner was unable to be here today. So um, this is. What's the street address? Do you have a street address? So, street address. Forty-two twenty-one Second mm -hmm. Avenue South. And 4424 Third Avenue South. So this is what it. 4221 Second Avenue South. Mm -hmm. It's in Avondale near all the breweries. So these okay. people can just walk. You know. <laughs> I was about to say, Mr. Lowe, for future reference, would it be possible to, you know, uh, to just have the address, what district it's in, and just kind of an aerial view? Um, well, it's probably so. in the packet we didn't read. So. Yeah. I just didn't open it. When I, when I saw this, I didn't open that. So I didn't <laughs> yeah. think about it. It's just not. Just so. Uh, it's not. It's not? Yeah, the subdivision doesn't go to neighborhood associations, so they won't know about any of this stuff. They'll find out later. So, Scott Whitehouse, is that the person? No. BDI? The owner? Uh -huh. On the Trail uh, mm -hmm. is the owner of owner, On the Trail LLC is the owner. They're the owner of both properties. Um, that's Second. a lot of alley. I see. I'm looking at that address, and all I get is Olympia House. So the, uh, you said it's 4221. 
Um, I know this is over where we did the workshops. So did your client buy the property from Olivia? Uh, yeah, they were just recently purchased. Okay, properties. okay. And they, they own both, and so what they want to do is just simply make the alley that... Between kind of workshops and... Okay. We have a little... Uh, 42, 44. Okay, I found 4241. 40, it's 44, 21. 40, and then 44, 42, 21 second, and 44, 21, 24. The one that's on 3rd Avenue. It's 44, 24. 32, 3rd Avenue and 2nd Avenue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking, so I have a right behind each other. satellite view for you. So these are the two. What are the two? That one? The, so one of them's a vacant lot? Uh, that, that, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the one that's on third, I think. Yes. It's a, it's a... So these are the ones with those big house like things on them? The big, like a triplex? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, so it's, it's this lot right here. Or this is a lot, this is a lot the alley comes through. Right kind of so what is this structure? Uh, I think it's a workshop, a workshop type building. Gotcha. And this is, so no, this is the alleyway. That's right, that runs in between, in between these structures. Building and and that existing lot. Gotcha. That's the alley. Yeah. And so none of this alley in this block is open right now. No. So it's been previously vacated? No, it's just trees. Just trees. Grown but in. it's still considered city right away, even if it's not paved or. Anything. Okay, so in this case, when they vacate a portion, do, does everybody who connects to that. Speak into it? No. no. They don't have to consent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's basically thing. preventing it from ever being opened. It is with information from BDOT. Usually if it's paved, BDOT won't let you do portions. But okay. it's something that probably won't ever be paved. Okay. It so so because out. it's an unimproved alley, others who touch it don't have to consent for them to vacate a portion no, of it. Only the portion that they're trying to vacate is owned by that owner. Okay. So because they own both sides, it's something we would consider and uh, the rest of it, it's not impeding access for anybody else. Okay. <clears throat> Got you. Okay. But now, if it was open, they couldn't just do a piece, piece. like that without yeah. everybody on it Speaking signing, it it, so. signing off. Yeah. And it currently ends, so this is the end of the alley. Like, this is all one continuous piece of property. So we're not, there's no more alley over on this, this side, if that makes sense. Okay. So if they well, they just bump into it. There's actually we'll a building on this property. You can see that building. It looks yeah. like, oh, okay, right. the building is into oh, the yeah. alley. So That's Continental Gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Right there. Okay, Piedmont Distilling. Flip it over like this, I can figure out what I am. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Well, okay. did, did we All have right. any more yeah. questions? I'm good. So I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Second Avenue, the one that the former city fire station mm -hmm. I think it was number 10 or it's on that street I mean, that's same street yeah okay so in the next block their residence is up there what's going to go on this is this going to be more apartment they haven't decided yet um they just recently bought the property um, but in order to do anything to it they wanted to go to vacate that alley um, that makes sense is the property on there here it's not so he bought the he bought all of the Aletheia house holdings, like the apartments and the triplexes and stuff. I don't think so. No. Okay. I think Aletheia's still alive. I think still got all those things. It's zoned light manufacturing, so 
Okay. No, no okay. Housing. No housing. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Some so they can make some beer. There's some housing on that street. Because some of it's new. I mean, there is some residential. That's 10 years, I guess. That's new. Okay. Yeah, so Do we have a uh, motion? Yeah, Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Uh, how's that? It? It's approved. Thanks. We'll move on to the next one. Uh, item number four, Michael Glover. A request for the Community Development Committee to review property <clears throat> that has zero voided repair permits, uh, 5836 Court O on October 19, 2023. Uh, Jeffrey Williams, uh, Evelyn Connor, 1733 Macmillan Avenue, Southwest Birmingham, Alabama, submitted an application for a special repair permit. This property has uh, was condemned by City Council on December 6th of last year. Uh, you have the floor, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Glover. I serve as the City of Birmingham Condemnation Demolition Court. I'm sorry. He always comes with color. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So y'all will be able to so see. So she can see how beautiful everything is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mr. Jeffrey Williams and Miss. Hello, how are you? Thank you for your service. I told you to be in war. I told you to be in that 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 war. I 5836, a repair permit at 5836 Cordova. Um, as you read previously, uh, it was condemned by council. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're here is because it was condemned by council, and this committee has to okay that permit for in the repair. Okay. Uh, and typically, if somebody comes to us and they haven't had any type of uh, voided repair permits, um, has it been the, uh, I guess, at the pleasure of the council to give people the opportunity to repair? Yes, uh, sir. Okay. Uh, my position is I don't have a vote for or against. Absolutely. It's just by being condemned by council, I have to present it to you. Absolutely. Well, uh, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. You, you want to go first? Okay. Um, I know that, I mean, I've... I've in, in my past experience with the condemnation process, in your uh, evaluation to condemn the property or to recommend that it be, uh, you know, I guess heading toward demolition, um, you did, you make a determination whether the house is structurally sound. Do you all still do that as part of your process? Yes, it's it's not so much structurally sound because you need a structural engineer for that. We recommend that. What we base it on is what it would take. To bring it up to code. To bring it up to code. Uh -huh. And that pushes us, you know, we're 50-50, and that pushes us to the condemnation demolition process. Okay. Meaning... Um, the amount of resources would be extraordinary? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So with that question being asked, um, oh, this well, no, I got it up. Oh, up here. Okay. Um, with this specific, well, I'm sorry, Councilor Abbott, because you had a question that you wanted to ask. Okay, cool. With with that question being asked, uh, do you know the the specifics or the particulars that it would take for this property to be brought up to code? A lot. Uh, it's not so much If it were my home, I would more than likely go from the ground up. I mean, because Start completely most citizens don't understand that when you're trying to repair a property, that cost can cost more than it would be to demolish it and rebuild it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and looking at that structure, they're being burned. Uh, Roof gone, the flooring system. I mean, 
that's my opinion, but I can't say yeah. no, we can't give him a permit. You know? so, so my position is, I present it to you guys, and I don't have to go into whether we issue it or not. Got you. Um, in the past, uh, and I know you probably wouldn't um, deny somebody a permit uh, for not coming with, I guess, a, an estimate of how much they think that it may cost, but is that something that, you know, people could do? Because I guess the, the real heart of the question uh, is I don't want somebody to start trying to repair a property um, and then get into it and realize it's way more than they actually can can handle. And so, is there any type of uh, preliminary um, requirements or, or you know things that we ask for folks to do? I think I think our permit. If we grant them a permit, they have to make progress and call for an inspection every thirty yeah, days, days, right? Yeah, and, and evidence that they are moving it in that direction. Gotcha. Now, it might take them, you know, 10 years, but if they call every 30 days right. and good. they made some progress. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> you know, in, in this situation, every property that comes before you guys from our department, same as I explained to Mr. Williams, you know, <coughs> I explained to him that that's a major renovation. I want to do that. And you can't patch or, you know, it's a major renovation. Mm -hmm. And he confirmed that he had the funds and the ability to, to do that. Gotcha. So then we proceeded with scheduling it for you guys. Okay. Uh, and, I, and I think there's a so many strikes you're out kind of situation. Can you just review? We're new. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us how this goes? So many of them. I wish I was new. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> You, said, how, how? you know, I, I remember that there was like a three strikes you're out kind of thing. No, it's two. Two, two strikes mm -hmm. you're out. Uh, so permits. We shrank it. Okay. But when, in my experience, if they don't complete it in that first, with that first permit, they normally don't come back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but we're, what I was told that you guys allow two. So the condemnation repair permit that we might be approving is an actual building permit, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And so the cost of that permit would be based on what it's going to take to bring the property yes. up to code. Yes. Um, so they're going to spend a lot of money on a permit, and then they will have to call for an inspection 30 days that shows some evidence of a change in the positive direction. Right toward bringing it up to code. And then if they do not, it'll come back before us. No. No, it'll. If they do not, like if we allow this permit, if they do not complete the work uh, or get rid of the nuisance, okay. we continue the demo process where we left off at. Okay. So we will notify them that that building permit has been void and the condemnation demolition process has continued where we left off. Uh, and if they don't respond to that, we go to we continue to the demolition phase. So the fact that we never hear about it after this point either means that they are in compliance and doing what they're supposed to do by reaching back out every 30 days, or they didn't do what they were supposed to do and you all went forward with the demolition. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. Um, did they, did they want to say something? Yeah, I was about to. Did you have another question? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I just want Mr. Williams to tell us his plan. My plan is to repair the house. I have to remove the house. I paid for the house cash in 1980 when I got new to him. I paid 25 years to new to him. I paid cash for that house. I got two million dollars in that house. I can pay for it. I got the money to pay for it. I got fees for the house. I'm a million now. I, I believe you. I, I, I got just, paid $78,000. I work $20,000 a day for that house. Can you, I want my house back. Can you, uh, and I'm good with that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> can, can, you, can you kind of tell me what your process is going to be? My process is to get somebody to repair the house. I'm talking about that I can depend on. So if something goes wrong, I can get my money back from the cabinet to repair the house. I want, I want an expert to repair the house. I don't want no shaping mechanical house. I want somebody to do the finish repair the house. 
somebody who's licensed yeah, and no, 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 right. and insured and has a seat curtain. I give them money back. I give them money to repair the house like a could repair. Okay. I so want the jacket to repair my house. I want somebody to repair my house. Have you found somebody or you look? No, ma'am. But I, I know somebody who can do it. Her husband can do it. He got to come today and do it, ma'am. But the CP company got to come and do that. You don't do the house anyway. I'm going to let him do it. Mm -hmm. But he got to come today and do that. He told me he did, and I believe because he's a pastor. He won't tell him no lie. He's my pastor. <laughs> yeah, man, he's my pastor. That's, that's and she's just like a mom to me. They will not hurt me. She's like a mom to me. I trust them to pay my house, right? And I know they're real because they're Christians. And they've been born. Well, I thought maybe you were going to try to do it yourself. No, I can't do it myself. I used to do that kind of for my father because it's a big house. I'm too old for that now. I'm 35 years old. That's too much for me now. Thank you, ma'am. That sounds like it'd be a good one. I just wanted to hear your plan because I mean, sometimes. I've got plans to repair the house. Yeah. I got two million rooms to the house with it going. I plan to repair the house with somebody that's eight person to repair the house. Person, house. I'm like, we'll be bummed. But if it's going to do it right, you can be paid to do it. That's my plan to help him out. It's real good. It's just good father and mom because I have two million rooms to the home. That's the only way I can do it. Now, now. Anyway, I thought about my house, but I was out smoking a cigarette. And I came back in the house and thought I had to put it out the dog in the garbage can and caught on fire. I was in my room and all of a sudden there was black smoke everywhere. I came out and tried to put them out, but it was too late. The fire department came and put them out. That's what put out the fire department because the floor was in good condition, man, and the walls were in good condition in the house. And plus, all the rooms got moved out of the front door. The rest of the rooms were in the house. And the house was in the same condition as the big house of all. It was in good condition. The only thing that fell out was the ceiling. And that could be repaired. Yeah, it looks like the living room, maybe it was yeah, the living room. Yeah, the living room they got around. The rest of the house had five square feet, too. Okay. Definitely. I, 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 I hear your passion. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but, but just to understand, to make sure that you know that, you know, you get this permit, and you got to yes, get your man or woman to work right away. Yes, ma'am, right away. To make sure that they don't fool around because... That's right. You know, you have a limited amount of time That's right, I mean, I to get it done. And, That's right, I mean. We just don't want anybody to sink any money into something that gets yeah, bulldozed. Yeah. 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 We don't want that to happen. 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 Okay. That was my question. Yes, ma'am. And Ms. Connor, uh, he, you're uh, just a friend just of Mr. Hood. Okay. Because yeah. that. name is my bitch. He's the head of the bank for about 40 years. Yes, yeah, sir. She takes all bills and everything. She makes my bills with her. I have to worry about that. I got to look at my case. And he looks out of the like, he's like, come on. 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 I got to look at my mom. I'm about 49 years old, bro. I don't know about it no more. Because he's been telling me, he's been telling me, he's been telling me, that's what I like about it. He's been telling me back about 40 years. And she's my mom. I call my mom. <laughs> no, I just I just wanted to make sure that you know, uh, yes sir. In, in, in the time being, that you know, he had somebody that was looking out for his best interest, and he had somewhere safe to to be. Um, I have one more question. Yes, ma'am. So, may I just ask? Once we um, once we recommend this to the full council, and the council authorizes the condemnation repair permit. I authorize you to grant him one. It's still up to him whether he'll come in and pull a permit for an amount sufficient to, the, in you all's judgment, what we'll do, will be, you know, what we'll do adequate. If the permit is granted, we'll send the building inspector out to do a pre inspection. Okay. And he's going to go through it thoroughly. And he's going to give us that cost, and we're going to relay that cost to him and make sure we're in agreement. So that yeah. he's pulling a permit for something in that right. ballpark right. to cover right. to the work fair, needed. To be fair to both parties. Yeah. Uh, and we go from there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he'll have a chance to get with a contractor and and look at what our pre-inspection said. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's going to take. Yeah, and our yeah. pre-inspection is pretty fair, so. Okay. Thank you. I move approval. All right. Second. Second is uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed. Uh, 
Uh, it has been approved. Uh, Thank no you for your service Thank and you. good it's luck. Safe. Good luck. Good luck with your project. No problem. No problem. Uh, Mr. Albert Jackson, we're moving on to item number five, a request for Powell Steam Plant LLC and Alabama Power Company to perform improvements on the Powell Steam Plant building by constructing and installing concrete curbs and gutters, concrete paving, stormwater pipe, grease traps, life stations, shorings, trench boxes, sample wells, pump stations, overhead louvered doors, a landing ramp with handrail, light poles, brick pavers, and utility water lines. All of the improvements are part of the overall development of the property located at 1830 Powell Avenue South. The floor is yours, sir. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you? My name is Johnny Mickles. I serve as a land acquisition agent for PEP. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jackson will be able to come in today. Okay. How do you spell your last name? Um, M I C K L E S. We have a request for approval of the right of way encroachment license agreement between the city of Birmingham, Powell Steam Plant LLC, and Alabama Power Company. I assume you guys are here to represent. Yes, uh, I'm Sean Russell, we're LBYE engineers. I'm the civil engineer on the job. Okay. And so. So, just for clarity's sake, on my part, um, is it that you know an inspection was done and all the things that you know were shared with them that they need to improve? Like that's that's what. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I just got this within a year. <laughs> this is hard. Do you feel like yeah. there's a history of the so. agreement? Yes, so this right away agreement came up. Uh, Mr. Jackson um, brought this up because a lot of our existing, all of our improvements that we're making are on the right away. Oh, the our right property right. lies right on the building. Um, a lot of the improvements with hardscape, utilities, uh, landscaping, it's all mostly on the right of way. And so that's what the goal of this um, right away agreement is. So we can get these approvals done. Gotcha. Plus, this age owner already, because I think people have already talked with you. This is a different city employee, right? Do you yeah. want to kind of summarize some of that for them? Yes. So we have talked to um, transportation, Jefferson County. Um, you'll notice, uh, I guess, on the plan, but we have um, one of the big ticket items is a three strap in the right way um, um, it's 19th Street. So just along here, we've got some three straps going in. The reason why we chose to put them there, um, we had an issue with getting gravity flow um, to the access point um, Jefferson County is extended their main so we can tie in right there. We have looked at we have looked at options to put it in the um, alleyway, but we would have had to pump it over to our discharge point off site. So the reasoning for putting I was about to say could you bring that map over here yes, so sir, they sir. could actually see. Sorry for that. So so the thing the right of way you're gonna encroach on is is on eighteen on both in like 18th and 19th Street, and it's to be able to make improvements and do. And run the primary utilities, and then from architectural perspective, one of the um, constraints, if you will, that Sean mentioned of us having zero setback in the building, footprint extending all the way to the property line is egress, safe egress from the building, and meeting ADA. And so okay. in order to meet ADA, we are required to add a ramp on both 18th and 19th, and our door swings into the right of way. Okay, not. I got you. But in addition to all the utilities that they're having to run and right away, since we don't have a setback beyond the building. 
Okay. And that, that makes sense to me. I'm, I'm familiar with, like, sometimes a private developer doing improvements in the public right away, but I didn't know... I didn't know of a situation where they actually got this kind of right-of-way agreement, but it's because your door swings, your your um, ADA access is going to actually be out on the sidewalk, basically. Right. Okay, and I got it was you. A stadium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ADA also didn't exist in the 1860s. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. Has a lot to people working in the stage. So they have to worry about that. They might have been handicapped after. after they weren't there, yeah. So actually, I reviewed these and had my comments. So is, is this a venue to vote these or do it offline? Or? I think we'd like to know what you think so before yeah. we vote. In my, yeah, in my review of these, my questions are to be sure that you all have gotten the proper permits, like the utility permit. Do you have your, your utility permit for BDOT? So the contractor will be responsible for, for pulling those, but our understanding, and correct me if you disagree, is that the process of they're not allowed to pull those until we have the right away use agreement. agreement. Yes. Right. Okay. It's kind of a trickle down. So this is just this the first step. First step. First step. Okay. First step. Um, second question it was about ADA compliance. I wonder if you have a statement or a letter or something uh, making us comfortable with this. ADA compliant, particularly with the structures in the, the ramps. Right, right. Yes, sir. Those the chief reason we're doing those is to have an ADA compliant way to egress from the building. Um, so we, if you want me to put something on letterhead that explains that those are ADA compliant, I'm happy to do that. And that would be helpful, as well as a standalone adverse effects letter, which was, which is related to drainage to be sure we're not increasing drainage. Yes, so we those can do that. two standalones. Um, has stormwater looked at these to your knowledge? I heard you mention that other departments have stormwater looked at these. I believe so. We have um, applied for the top nine versus a, um, it was a stormwater permit that uh, doesn't allow you to have a, a change in your pre and post condition. Okay. Um, I guess my last question, has our mechanical and plumbing and electrical inspectors looked at this to be sure what you're putting on our right of is see the ground and step? They have reviewed it. This, I guess I'll say permits have been pulled for demolition. So that work is ongoing right now. So it has gone through the full review process. This is a little bit of a unique project in that the packages are being released um, in different components and so we haven't had a full MEP design yet released. So this is predominantly to get utilities to the site to get a shell established and then when those drawings are wrapped up then it'll go back through a second round of review with all the city entities and pull the permits for those engineering. Okay so that's fine. Basically, you're asking. I'm sorry. No, no, you're ahead. asking for permission to do this work in in the public right of way and to be able to use the public right of way um, for ingress, egress, and for your utilities. But once we approve the agreement, you still got to design those, and then we would regulate so the development. So we still permit have permitting and inspection oversight over that work that you'll be doing. Yes. But will you have to comply with the Public Works Act for this element of your work? For instance, on your private side, you don't have to comply with the public bid law, but if it's on public property, would they have to comply? No. They no? no? Okay. If it was public property and public funds, they yeah, would they have to comply. Yeah. But public property and private funds, they don't have to comply. They just have to be dispensed. Okay, okay. That was kind of my thing. Like for example, that grease trap wouldn't fall in; it'd have to be built to our state. Right. And we have looked at options of putting that in the sidewalk, but there's heavy utility congestion along the sidewalk. You know, uh, lots of outbound power lines running underground, so it wasn't really a great option for us to 
do that, and it would impede on um, our hardscape plan and how you know they're trying to match how we want to look, how it wants to visually appeal from 18th Street to 19th Street. So, when is this going to be some? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> When is, when is it going to be complete? Oh. <laughs> well, this phase should be complete in February. Um, so the bulk of the work that's happening at the exterior should be complete in February. The owner, I think, is still working on finalizing leasing and things for tenants on the interior. But the, most of the disruptive work, because I know that it's been very disruptive. Um, I know that there's been chain link fence up around the site for a long time. I mean, we, I think we tried to start this before the World Games came, and we actually had to kind of pause the mobilization of that because the World Games was using the parking lot adjacent to it for speed skating. Um, and so we know that it's been very disruptive to the site and to the pedestrian access. So the, our understanding, based on what the contractor is telling us now on their schedule, is that the exterior work should be complete by February. There will still be interior and fit out work to do after. Slide, did you have any questions? No, I think I've got it. Okay. Uh, is there a motion? I move approval. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. It is approved. Um, um, you can have this copy. And we tell me that will So you're right. welcome to have this one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to item six, a request from Jim Realty LLC regarding the proposed installation of fire and domestic water lines, a concrete bolt, a backflow preventer, ductile iron pipe, PVC pipe, fire and domestic mag meters. All of the facilities will be installed to provide water service to a new warehouse for the Blue Links project located at 1021 Second Court West. Uh, Mr. Mills, you have a floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, Johnny Nichols. I serve as a land acquisition agent for the city of Birmingham. Um, yes, it's a request for approval for right of way encroachment license rate between the city of Birmingham and Jim Realty regarding the proposed installation of a fire domestic water line, concrete vault, a backflow runner, a line pipe, PVC pipe, fire, and domestic mag meters. All facilities will be installed to provide mm -hmm. water service for a new warehouse for the Blue Links project located at 1021 Second Court West, as shown in the attached exhibit. I have four copies as well. Um, sure. I'll get my own. I'll let you keep yours. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and uh, sir, you can go ahead and introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. I'm John Melhouse, a civil consultant for the civil engineers on the project. Um, our client is uh, Ray McCary. They are the design bill contractor, and Ray McCary is engaged by Jim Realty, who's the property owner. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Lynx uh, is the tenant in this facility. They are um, lumber wholesalers. They sell to the Lowe's and Home Depot's of the world. If you go on site, there's tons of impressive, you know, cedar beams that are 20, you know, two feet deep and six feet, or so to be six inches thick. They're, it's very impressive stuff. Anyway, they have a lot of outside storage. They want to build this approximately 50,000 square foot metal building, which is what you kind of see in here. Here's the limits of the new footprint of the new building that they want to construct. Um, Where is this generally? So it's this right next to Rickwood Rick Field. Field so this Just to <coughs> um, the building obviously needs uh, water service. Oh. Uh, they have, I think, one or two bathrooms and then fire protection. The existing water main is out here in Second Court West, which we are tapping. So for this portion, of the extension, we can set the backup veteran stuff on Blue Link property. This portion right here is actually city right away. You would not, if you drove out there and look at this, that would not be apparent. It looks <laughs> kind of sort of like a driveway, but yeah, it's, uh, that, that's close. Uh, actually, come back this way. The other way? Yeah. 
Yeah, Two of those cars are parked. That that gate right there is actually across the right way, oddly enough. Hmm. So anyway, point being, with the water line out here in second court, we have to extend to this building, and really the only practical way to do that is down the this. I want to use the word vacated right away, but that's not accurate because it does exist. It is right away, maybe unused. Unopened. Yeah. We can always call them unopened. Unopened. Okay, the gray. I, I appreciate that. I learned something. So, <laughs> I don't know how to describe so that. What, what is the street address of your property? 1021 Second, Second Court, Court West, West, I believe. Okay. So that's, that's really it. Um, we're here to request a right-of-way use agreement for this portion of the um, water line extension, service connection extension to the property. And um, glad to answer any questions I can have for you. Got you. And just for clarity, right? So right away, that just means that we're giving them the opportunity to utilize the space, not necessarily vacating it, uh, for them to be able to do what they need to do. That's right. So I do have a concern. Uh, when I was the utility engineer for Jefferson County, as well as that, lot, we normally would not allow that type of thing. We would ask the public utility to extend that water line. Have they been asked? Yes, and defined. That, and which is for obvious reasons. That's. Um, I would just ask that our city of Birmingham utility engineer have a shot at it because they very well could decline it. That's. They have. We've submitted. That's we've submitted. Okay. So you've given them an opportunity. We've already, yes. In fact, so, they have a permit okay. uh, to begin site work already. Okay. Um, you know, with the understanding that, hey, if you don't get this, then you're at risk. So it's an extension of Maine's? No, ma'am. It's is private that? because so it's private downstream department. from the meter. It's yeah. downstream from the meter. And since it's private, that's Okay, so your meter, meter is, is over here towards second court? Correct. Correct. And you've got to run the line to this. That's exactly right. So okay, so that's that's a service line. That is right. exactly it's right. A service. Oh, wow. Public right. right away, which is normally a no-no. Yes. But in this case. That's why we're here. Yeah. Could could it go anywhere else? We consulted with uh, BWWB, uh, Doug Stockham, and actually went down and met with him, and this was his preferred solution. And we did talk about an extension of mains, and he said that they would not be interested in doing that. Why, why would they decline? Because it's more maintenance on them. They don't want to have to fix it if it breaks. Yeah, they become responsible for it. Got you. And they got so, <laughs> Unless we got the owner to agree to do that. So it seems like the service could come off of this second avenue west or something. The meter. There's no line there. Oh, there's that's, also, that's also just grass. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not a real street. Okay. Correct. Gotcha. So, so you say you do have a permit from we B, do from BDOT. B, the, from DOT from DOT. Right. From Congressional. Do you have a permit from him? Are you are you two of them? I don't know. We, we submitted it to Birmingham. I, I coordinated all this with Kelly Dunn. And at the time, Jerome Johnson, I think Jerome is successfully retired. But, um, yeah, we, we submitted the required plans and the contract, and the contractor rather received the permit. The contractor received the permit? Yes. How do you enter this property? How do you drive onto this It's property? actually over here for the most part. They have like a control oh, gate access. Oh, they got some more. Oh, you got some more. Cody, could you turn that picture? Yeah. This way? Keep coming. Shit. Yeah, I keep that going way. back to the east, I believe. So you're just all along the creek there, right? Correct. Like, Correct. But you enter it from 9th Street West, maybe? Uh, no, I think it's off 2nd. 2nd. Just keep going. You're doing perfect. Just keep going. Yep, right there. There you go. So that's where we are. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of not adding up. It might kind of tease into their driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in my council district. That's why I was wondering. I, I'm just trying to visualize it. Picture it, yeah. Sure. But I just had lunch on the other side of the creek at the Jamaican <laughs> restaurant. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs>
Is it good? It is quite good. Yeah. They didn't get the fish out of the creek. <laughs> <laughs> see okay do we have any other questions um i guess from the city engineer standpoint are y'all so if we have okay with group, this if we have a if we have a permit from our utility engineer i would be who is our utility i mean uh, the waterworks no no uh, the city of birmingham has, utility has the utility engineer. engineer yes if he would bless it then that would be thumbs up do so we need what do them we to need come to, to this meeting? Yeah, I was about to say, what do we need to do to... So, approve it with the condition of getting that? So, contention... Do we not have that since we have a permit? He says they have it, but... You yeah, have a permit. We have a, we have a permit to do site work. That's what I'm saying, but, but you need a utility permit. But that's a utility. I don't know how the plans got routed. I don't get that. Who, who, so, who is our utility? A rest moment. Harass. H A R E S H. Could you see Arrest. if they could come? Maybe yeah. we could table this until that they come and give us some advice. H A R E S H. Is that are you talking about today? Like yeah. come today? Yeah. Yes. Just table it. Just for a moment. for a moment. I'd, I'd like to make a motion to table. See if we could get the person here. That way, a second. we can make a more informed. Yeah, I second that. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed. So we'll just table this. Um, until I have we get a question. Through. Just get my question answered because it's an easy one. Sure. Why don't y'all just ask for vacation of that unopened right of way and take it into your? That was discussed. Solve the problem. That was discussed, and I cheap. think it's cheap to do one third the right of way. I mean, that's yeah. That's that is not a bad idea. That's a so good they idea. own both sides but, of the um, thing. I think it was a timing thing. They felt like that would take too long. Is it turned out because the last meeting of that was the former committee, the public improvements committee, oh, okay. didn't happen and so forth? It might have ended up taking the same amount of time, but we didn't we didn't know that back then. Yeah, we sometimes forget that people won't like there's business out there. So if you turn right around, so both so, sides of that. So hold on, we we thing. tabled them, okay. so we probably okay. need to. Move to the next one. And then That's fine. Thank you. I care. just wanted to know about the right of way because that would seem like that would simplify everything because obviously if we never opened it, we don't need it. Only, I will say this about that. I think the, I think Jefferson County has sewer in there, so that would complicate that to some extent. You'd have to, you'd have to figure that out. We can't build over their sewer, but... Yeah. Let's uh let's move on to item seven and then we'll come back. Okay. Uh, you think you're gonna be able to get the person? I just got Mr. Okay. Mickles here. Yeah. So item seven. Oh, we go. We're gonna move on to item number seven. Item number seven: a request for Kettle Brothers LLC regarding the proposed installation of one vent duct for the purpose of exhausting fumes. Uh, the sign will project. Uh, no, but you brought back. From exterior of building located at 313 20th Street North. Mr. Mickles. My name is Johnny Mickles. I serve as a land acquisition agent for the Department of Planning and Engineering Committee. Uh, and we have a request for the Brothers regarding the proposed installation of one vent duct. Uh, we have Mr. Steve Stuller uh, here to answer any questions or concerns. All right, so what do we have going on here, Mr. Stahl? So I am opening the uh, Warming California campaign there called Kettle Brothers and I need to have a you know, a zero lot line to my understanding. And so our duct work on the vent will expand into the alley right there at 313 20th Street North. And I'm super cool to be able to violate Okay, so this thing says the sign will project and so the error. I was saying since it's not a sign. It's not a sign. So it's, it's he's got it right in the first part, the the sign is in there. It should be bad. Gotcha. So the is gonna project. I apologize. Oh no, you good? I was confused about that too when I read it earlier. Uh because I was like, it's a, it's a vent duct. That's At least it'll it smell good compared right, to some right. of the stuff that's in the alley. <laughs> that's <laughs> what's been in the alley at the last 
And this okay. is for a restaurant, right? Uh, it is not a restaurant. It is a production and shipping facility. So we'll not be able to do stuff on it. And this the old roly poly? Oh, uh, roly poly. Not gonna lie, my heart, my heart was hurting when uh, <laughs> the roller coaster closed down. So it'll basically just kind of stick out it with would. enough clearance that it won't interfere with trucks or anything. Correct. And there will be a guard around it, one inch uh, steel bar um, as well. And where exactly on the building? So if you're looking here, um, it will come out about right up here, up top of this window, which is. A grade of about between 11, right at 11 foot, okay. and go all the way to the top and vent in towards the roof for safety. Okay. At 45, and I have the plans. That you need to see in the, in the all right. Um, the vent itself is 10 by 26, so 10 inches mm -hmm. depth, 26 inches wide, um, and probably does about a two inch. Uh, Right. So now the side Okay. Council call. So it'll it'll be out about two feet? No, mm -hmm. it'll be out about uh, at the most probably at the so twelve <coughs> inches is what we're looking at, probably at fourteen inches. Okay, so ten inches yes, plus the two inch yes, mounting bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two uh two and a half, twenty six inches width that will run along the same side of that width. Okay, that okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh, that's big. So mm -hmm. you have to work hard to get it. Yeah. Yeah, they will have to work hard. <laughs> Councilor Abbott, did you have any? Well, did you have any no, more I, questions? I think I'll do it. I think I'll do what we're doing here. Okay. What kind of fuels are we going to install? So there is only heat and uh, what is cooked off from the sugar. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no fumes uh, per se. It's so really steam. And, and <coughs> some smoke that will come off from the sugar because the sugar will cook off. Cool. Okay. And what are you cooking? Kettle corn. Kettle corn. Oh, That's what I said. I think I read about that in the Birmingham Business Journal or something. It's going to make you want to go online and buy some. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, did you have any questions, uh, City? Uh, this one is minor. How high would it be? So it? they're looking at uh, uh, above 10 foot. So they're looking at about 11 foot, which would be right above that window <clears throat> sill. Um, that should be above the garbage trucks. So mm -hmm. That's right. All right, do we have a motion for approval? I approval. Second. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, the ayes have it. We've been approved. Uh, we'll move on to item number eight, uh, a request for uh, a request from FFRMI 20 Midtown LLC regarding the proposed installation of 20 blade signs for the purpose of tenant location in the 20 midtown apartments development complex the signs will project from exterior of building located at 220th street south mr Nichols. and you can have a seat sir my name is johnny Nichols. i serve as a land agent for the department of pdp i'm uh, going to write away the motion between the city of Birmingham and ffrmi 20 midtown llc we have Mr. Richard Smalls. 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 Here to represent uh, FF RMI 20 Midtown LLC. Um, uh, just to clarify, I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to influence y'all, but um, we, we already have a permit to do this, but it was in the name of the owner, but it was in the owner's name before we sought to get new financing on our building. And the attorney for the new lender says that they want us to have the permit in the name of the owner that it is now. Um, the owner that it, the owner that is presently in is a part of the new partnership, but um, without, without going too deep into the weeds, it, every time you do something, the lender wants you to have a single purpose entity. So when we develop, this is the third building in 20 minutes. And when we developed that building, the lender made us form a new entity made up of the old owner, the name that the permit is in now, and, the, and some new equity that we brought in. So, so the new lender 
It's confusing to me too. I don't have that confusion. <laughs> but the new lender wants us to get the permit in the name of the owner of that. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah. Okay. So it makes sense. Yeah. And this, this is the same permit that we've done directly go along, but there's nothing changed yeah. about the request. Nothing changed in the agreement except for the name. Uh -huh. And that's all about the liability. Cool. Do we have do we? Nobody has a question. Second. Have question? Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, Thank you all very much. Yes, sir. Thanks, Dick. Uh, let's see. And then item number nine, uh, a request for the approval of a memorandum of understanding between the Wahoma <laughs> Neighborhood Association and the City of Birmingham regarding the proposed installation of one double-faced fluted Aluminum neighborhood entrance sign on City of Birmingham property located at the northeast of the intersection of First Avenue North and 75th Street North, abutting or adjacent to 7504 First Avenue North. And I'm assuming you're going to bring that, Mr. Mipples. Okay. My name is Johnny Mipples. I serve as an <laughs> agent for the plan engineer in the midst. This is a request of approval of a memorandum of understanding agreement between the Wahoo. Neighborhood Association and the City of Birmingham is going to propose a installation of one double faced fluted aluminum neighborhood entrance sign on the City of Birmingham property located at the northeast of the intersection of First Avenue North and 75th Street North, abutting or adjacent to 7504 First Avenue North as shown on the attached exhibit. Is anyone here from Wahoma? No. <laughs> Did anybody respond from uh, PEP? For this? For the, for the last item. Mr. That was him that called when I stepped into the hall, so I can call him back live after this. Or oh, he I will can... tell us? Oh, yes. Okay. He's okay. Ready to miss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, this building is it the advanced auto <coughs> parts? Old building. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it'll be on First Avenue. Oh. In between those two trees. Right here. Yes. Got it. So we'll just be putting this on right there. That's correct. It looks like it looks like Forest Parks. You know those metal sides. Mm -hmm. How tall? I believe. Uh, yeah, it's five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> five feet. Um, did y'all have any uh, questions? Would that be already be in the agreement? Okay. Yes, they, they are breakaway um, signs, poles, and all. Um, but as far as BDOT's setback requirements, I'm not sure. See, all that would be taken care of. They have to approve all yeah, the yes. signs <coughs> in the line. So that's why that was my only reluctance. Yes. Okay. And I thought the first day we know it, I'm almost part of this estate, by the way. That down there. Are you at the 
they they usually take about ten years to answer you. Right. It sound like, right. Uh, well, maybe we need to maybe we need to maybe we need to get answers to those things before we right. um, Yeah, that 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 would be fine if we could hold off on this one. Okay. Well, there's one more question, Mr. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. On this last page, it says that the height is 36 inches, but then on the drawing it says the height is 60 inches. So is that just the sign? The sign itself that's 36 <coughs> inches tall, not the standards that are holding. <coughs> so we need to determine. Oh, I see it. I see it. It is the sign. Yeah, the the sign. Okay. Okay. First Avenue. Well, down at the bottom, it has this little thing that makes it sound. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'll speak with uh, Mr. Jackson to confirm. Um, if the setbacks have been you know, looked at or and about the state. Yeah. And then um, I guess my, my one question to is is this their best gateway? Like we had, the uh, neighborhood boundaries? We had uh, several um, locations to look at and the neighborhood president, I believe, didn't like the area or something like that. We had to okay, so y'all negotiated this. Yes, yes, and this was the last one, and um, that's where we are right now. Okay. Got you. All right. Uh, well, I wonder if we delay this to our next meeting, if that's appropriate, because mm -hmm. we don't need to More information. All right, I second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, so this will be uh, moved to our next meeting. Um, and we'll, we'll make a determination on that. Uh, so now we'll go back to item number six, uh, the Blue Links project. So is it acceptable to the committee to move to the Call Mr. Rich on the speakerphone. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And uh, I guess just state his position as well so that okay. you know who we're talking to. Okay with you, I'm going to put you on speakerphone. It won't take long. Just, um, and you are still our utility engineer, correct? Is that good? Is that right? For the city of Birmingham? Okay, so when I put you on speaker, just state your name and your position. And I really appreciate this and just answer a few questions that we have in order to help the committee. All right, hold on. Okay, I've got you on speakerphone in front of the committee. State your name and title, and then we'll ask you a few questions. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Haresh Mori. I'm the division manager for heavy infrastructure under Birmingham Department of Transportation. And our group issues the utility permits for work in right of way. All right. Thank you, Mr. Haresh. This is uh, Councilman J.T. Moore, serves as the committee chair for community development. Uh, we just had a, a couple of questions, and uh, I'll turn it over to uh, Council Member Abbott. I want to say you uh, had the question about possible vacation. Yeah, the, the right of way. The, uh, Mr. Modi, I, I think you're familiar with this project. It's the Blue Lakes project at 1021 Second Court West, and there's two sections of unopened alley there that form sort of an L shape. And they were wanting to put their water line 
to their new building under that unopened alley. And I had asked the question if it wouldn't make better sense to vacate the alley to them and then they could put the water line under their property. You know, it would be under their property instead of our property. And then the applicant also said that the Jefferson County might have a sewer line under it, so I don't know whether that muddies the water. But okay. we're just wondering since you mm -hmm. looked at that. Well, and they, they seem to be concerned about the time it would take to do a vacation, especially if they started it at this point mm -hmm. versus um and, and I guess for me, I'm just, do we do we permit under any circumstances for people to run a water service private line, water on public right a, a private water service line in the public right of way? Uh, let me start with the first uh, answer. No, unfortunately, I'm not, I have not looked at the drawings or I'm not familiar with this project at all, okay? Uh, but that, that would not prevent me from making some comments. Number one, if, if somebody wants to run any kind of utility line from one building to another building, uh, it has to be in public right of way or designated easement. Now this alley, we are saying alley currently is not in use, correct? No, it's unopened, not paved, nothing. Okay. If it's unopened or not paved anything, then we have to check the records to see if it was uh, vacated to adjacent property owner or not. Uh, if it's not, then it's still, it may still show up as a right of way. Let me interject. Um, is Mr. Modi, is that right? Hey, hey Mr. Modi, this is John Milhouse. I'm a civil consultant. We're the civil engineer on the job. Uh, thanks for mm -hmm. jumping on the call. I can tell you, um, that we researched that quite a bit as to whether this, because it looks so unconvincing at right away, you know, it looks just like a drive, maybe not really even a driveway. Um, so we coordinated extensively with Kelly Dunn at the city about that, and he, he confirmed that, that our survey is correct and that it shows it is right away. So, um, okay. So, so I, if, I it's a, if, it's a, if it's a light off there, if it's a right of way, then just like any easement or right of way, that is not uh, not maintained. Basically, right. so basically a land that city owns but has not maintained in quite a while. Correct. So, so if it's if it if it's actually right of way, then yes, we can issue you a permit to run a utility line. But unfortunately, because it's in public right of way, it has to be a public line. So the section of water line, it, it, it can be a service line, or it can be a main line, fire line, anything. Anything that's in the right of way, that part becomes a public, public uh, service line or public main line. So it has to follow all the standards from the city as well as Birmingham Water Works. Well, I can address that a little bit too. Uh, we, or I, I guess more accurately, met with Doug Stockham at the Waterworks Board and had a similar conversation. And he he said that the Birmingham Waterworks Board would not want this as public as their part of their public infrastructure. And so, which, which would make sense. Which would make sense because you are showing a one-inch line one inch PVC line and six inch fire line yeah. where there are minimum standards for the public water I mean, will be anywhere between four, six inches and higher. And of course they would not want a fire line. They might want a fire line come up off of the main line because anything that you put in the public right off and it becomes public, then we're, they, they end up maintaining it and they may not want to maintain something that's not to the current standard. So would, would, would I guess the, the question that, the second question that was posed. Well, not on the vacation, but I guess what they're asking us to grant is a right of way encroachment license agreement. Right. That would um, give them the ability to, you know, use the right of way to run the slide, a, a, a really long service line. 
That's right. Um, does that make it doable? Because and, I guess the law department question drew because this uh, I, that's very very interesting question because you do right of maintenance agreement with somebody to make sure that whatever the utility or whatever infrastructure they install within that that area uh they have to maintain it and uh, but the, but the, but the area also belongs to the city so anytime city has any conflict with that line city can remove it or do anything with it at its discretion usually like usually right of encroachment agreements are made for like a smaller items like somebody's uh, uh, street lights in the sidewalk or some facade that's encroaching or somebody has a uh, pest control lines just outside of the outside of the building within couple of feet but i i haven't seen right of encroachment agreements done for this much extended service line or fire line I, I'm thinking maybe we should let the engineers make a recommendation because um, I just don't feel comfortable. They, they've raised enough questions to make me uncomfortable yeah. that it's not something that's usually done. So they, well, the best way, the this best way the to do it is instead well, of running these two lines, why don't they just run a main and run the fire service off of that main on the other end and so that way that can be easily maintained by Birmingham Waterworks and it's our it's our right off way so even if we don't maintain it that's not gonna hurt the line and be, because it's a public it's in public area they can go and maintain it repeat it anytime they want yeah I, well I, I I really don't have anything additional to say to what I said a second ago about we talked to Doug Stockham at Birmingham Waterworks about that and he didn't want it but the maintenance of the service line would be yours. Correct. Right? It wouldn't be ours. Correct. Everything right. from the meet, everything from the meter in would be our, or not mine, but the. So yeah. what? What's our risk? I guess I want to know. I mean, maybe it's policy precedent that this says. No, no. The the, the, the city's the city's risk would be this. City's risk would be, let's say that water line, water service line breaks or fire service line is leaking or breaks. Okay, so in that case, Birmingham Waterworks would not touch it because it's not a public line. It's not under their jurisdiction. And city and uh, I mean, I'm talking about any time. It could be six months from now. It could be 50 years from now. But any time city wants to go and dig in that area or whatnot, they have to be careful because they had they had allowed this private line to be in their land. And if when city goes out to work in that area, if that disrupts the service line, then there will be another issue. Well, city doesn't have city mm -hmm. does, doesn't have any means to fix it or repair it if something goes goes wrong and the owner doesn't maintain it. Well, that that makes sense, but the the city hasn't shown any inclination to maintain anything in the, on this particular piece of property for decades. So I'm not sure. But but, but 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 she. This this water service line and fire service line has the public safety issue. This is this, so? is this is not this is not your fiber line or electrical line that if you if if your if your lights go out we don't have to worry about it. What can you uh, can you uh, expand on that? What what safety issue? Let's say you have a six inch fire 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 line. Okay, twenty years down the road something happens in that area because somebody thinks it's a private area some fiber company or anybody digging in that area they hit that line there are no records of it because it's a private line it's not going to show up on any maps so wow. so someone calling before they dig wouldn't the line located they would not, no, line they location they would not services do won't pick it up private areas. okay or well that is can private. we can so. we I, I'm just, I'm uncomfortable recommending it. Now, I am, but that, I'm only one vote, but I'm not sure 
It seems so. to me the vacation route is the best route. Cleaner way That's the best one. It's a vacation or, or, or consider it, even if you don't want to vacate it, consider it as an easement. Okay? And so if it's not a dedicated ad of it, so let's call it like a city owned property or city owned lot and call it an easement under that lot. But then, even then, regardless you call it easement or whatever, that line has to be public because of the extent of it, the distance of it. So, let me, let me pose this question uh, and anybody in the room that may know this answer. Um, in the event that, you know, we wanted to change. Uh, the request of this item to a vacation is that something that we could do today, mm -mm. or we would have to? They'd have to do yeah, that would be engineering. Roger. Okay. Yeah. And I know well, that. The owner of the property would want, have to want to do it. Oh, yeah. Right. It's paperwork. Yeah, they would want to have Can to. Can somebody give me a ballpark on how much that would cost? So. Sure that, how much does that cost? I'm sure that's the next question. Right. And how fast can we do it? So. All I can tell you is I know that our next community development meeting will be December the 20th. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will be this month. Um, so if that's something that, you know, you all get more information about and are able to move forward with, then we can bring that back before us. Because it sounds like there's there's a little bit more conversation that needs to take place. Yeah. Um, and possibly some other options that are available to, to making this work. Um, I was wondering, so, does he own the subdivision, the location process? No. Mm -hmm. Roger Glover? No, no, no. You're the no, he, that's Mr. That's Mr. Glover. That's Mr. Glover. You have a good surveyor. They can, they can write the legal... They, well, first, they have to do research, and then they can write proper legal description, and that goes to the city attorney's office, and then it gets presented to council. If it's, a, if it's something simple... It's not gonna take that long, but first thing is to find out exactly if it's uh, through the county records, if this is actually a uh, right off where that city has not maintained. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I mean, I can't be 100% sure, obviously, but I, I know that that issue was researched by city staff before, and we were told it was still right away. Cool, so let's, let's do this. Uh, I want to make a motion to, I guess. Thank you, Thank you sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I don't even know what, what I would call that if I wanted to, I guess, give you all time to change the yeah the item request. How Can somebody tell me, like, how long? Like, say we make this December 20 meeting. Which, mm -hmm. Is that possible? If there's the middle I deadline? It. I doubt like, it. Because I think we got to have our stuff next days in advance of the the meeting is that, and we might already pass that problem. No, 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 that's two weeks from now. Right? Mm -hmm. But wouldn't they have to go to subdivision committee? I mean, the subdivision, the planning commission for a vacation. Uh, yes, that, that, that one you have to deal with. Uh, with the law. It has a whole different process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but let me ask you, what are some of the time constraints? What are they dealing with? They're moving dirt. So they're building. They have a permit. They're moving dirt. They're building a path for a metal building right now. But when when is it? See, when will the CO? When when will it be finished? I'm right out on that end. Okay, so we don't know how long before they're trying to turn on some water. I, I, no, ma'am, I do not. I do not for sure. <clears throat> so, I want to so table this. Gonna, we, table okay, this until yeah. next Let, uh, let's committee just meeting. Table it because we may yeah. be able to get the engineers to agree that this is the best way. And so, they may not. So we're going to move forward just uh, tabling it. Or, so. or delay it. Or delay, delay it. Is that, what, is that the better? If we had somebody to refer it to, we could refer it. But I don't know to if we refer, refer it back to the administration and let them figure it out. So I move for uh, a two-week delay. Then, okay. And we'll come back next week. Uh, could you, or not could next you week, Mr. But City Engineer, weeks. try to help them? Um, Hold on. So there's a motion out. There's a motion okay. on the floor yeah. first. So. Well, to, to delay it two weeks. Two weeks. I'm mm -hmm. on that. All right. Me too. Confused now. All right. Uh, so is yes. that a second? Okay. That's a second. Second. Yes. All right. Uh, all. The, I mean, and all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. All right. Ayes have it. So we are doing a two-week delay. 
do it until we eat the lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That way we can kind of work it out. All right. So that con concludes all of our items. All right, sir. You have a good one. So that concludes all of our items. Uh, I did have one question for Mr. Glover. Thank you for coming back. Um, so. As I was sitting here, got an email from someone about uh, a resident this? whose property had been uh, condemned. Hold on. Let me finish up. So, had a resident whose property had been condemned, um, but they're still currently living in the property. Um, how does that work? And what resource? <coughs> Do we want to, I think Jeff's saying we want, might want to adjourn first. Is that what you're saying? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, well, then hold on. Let me <laughs> appreciate that. Good, sir. Um, second thing, is there, in what way could we get a list of those properties that are condemned or like, or on the list to be demolished within our, our different districts? Is there... It's just how you know how do you want us to get it to you? I'm just running a simple report by district. Okay, cool. That would be great. Uh, and then that is all the questions I have for you on I'm this happy. matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me see. The only other thing I know we had a couple of announcements I wanted to share. Uh, so the Magic City. Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> Community development. Uh, City of Birmingham Community Development, they have the uh, Magic City Champions Pilot Part 2 taking place. Uh, the City of Birmingham is launching the Magic City Community Champions Pilot Initiative to address the need for quality, affordable housing through investment in local nonprofits, uh, community development corporations, and community development housing organizations. For more info, please join Community Development and Enterprise Community Partners Thursday, December the 14th uh, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Boutwell Auditorium. Uh, the Birmingham Land Bank Authority will have their December board meeting taking place tomorrow, Thursday, uh, December 7th at 2 p.m. Uh, Mayor's Conference Room uh, D&E, which is where we're located right now on the third floor in City Hall. Uh, you can also dial in by phone at 1-415-655-0002, access code 2500-538-2736. Uh, and that, oh, and the last thing, Birmingham Housing, or the how, yeah, HABD, Housing Authority, Birmingham uh, District, uh, has the Birmingham Public Housing waiting list that is now open. Uh, they have one and two bedroom apartments um, where you can apply online at habd.org through the resident portal. Um, portal closes Friday, December the 22nd at 4 p.m. Uh, those are all the announcements. Did you all have anything? Mm -hmm. um, Could you send us those? Yes, I definitely can. Uh, if all hearts and minds clear, uh, is there motion a motion for adjourn? Motion to adjourn, please. And we are adjourned. Thank you.